Hello, my name is Amanda Lombard. I will be doing my final presentation on the importance of string education in U.S. schools. My research topic for this project is how can schools increase student interest in school programs in public schools in the United States. Just for context, let me give you some background information as to why this topic is important. In the previous century, string programs have been in a big decline. The community, parents, and schools do not show enough support to encourage students to participate in string programs. In recent years, studies show that there has been a fluctuating increase in interest from students to participate in orchestras that are offered in schools. Some schools refuse to fund a program that cannot pull its own weight. This includes students who are not enrolled in orchestra. Some schools combine orchestras to involve students who have interest, but the teachers are there voluntarily. Teachers who volunteer for this do not get paid and do this all out of the kindness of their own hearts. So you may be wondering, why is this relevant to education today? Music is merely an elective that gives students an outlet to express themselves in a way that other electives cannot. As students get older and mature, their avenues of de-stressing and unloading from a long day get thinner in variety. Being able to introduce string programs to young students could allow them to have access to a musical family outside of their home as well as the traditional classroom setting. So how do we solve this issue? One method to solve this issue would be to introduce string instruments to younger students earlier in their educational career. One article stated, instrument petting zoos allowed students to experience the delight of playing, even if it's just one single note on a string instrument. This is incredibly important for younger students since they get to have access to all the instruments that they are allowed to play in orchestra and see what they like. Another article stated, string students who had received musical instructions prior to high school were more likely to enroll than those who had not. This is also extremely important for those younger students who were enrolled in private school as a young child and then go into public school when they're older. If they didn't have orchestras in their private school, most likely they are not interested in trying to participate in an orchestral program when they're older in a public school setting. Another way to solve this problem would be to eliminate gender bias. One article stated, flutes, clarinets, or violins are for girls, while trumpets, drums, or trombones are for boys. This is something that is extremely prevalent in most studies that I have looked at due to the fact that most boys do not want to play a pretty stringed instrument. Most boys end up playing piano or a percussive instrument. Another article stated, we have started a junior orchestra to provide for the surplus wind. We are still short of strings, largely because boys are not taught these instruments at preparatory schools. This goes back to what I had stated previously about preparatory schools not supplying orchestral instruments. And then when you get into public schools when you're older, there's a lack of interest because students were not introduced to it when they were younger. Boys especially do not get access to string instruments when they're younger because they're expected by their parents and their peers to play a more manly instrument. Something that is extremely important in trying to solve this issue would be to increase the diversification of racial inclusion in orchestras. In the U.S. alone, these statistics on the right-hand side of the screen are what are shown. 73% of students are white, 9.6% are African American, 9.2% are Asian, 8.16% are Hispanic, and 0.04% are Native American in orchestras. This is taken from an article that shows the statistics of all students in the U.S. and their participation in orchestras in middle school. Another thing that we can look at to solve this issue is for teachers to have more positive attitudes in the classroom, specifically for string programs. Each of these quotes you see on the screen are taken from a, the same scholarly article, which is 
a college dissertation on the importance of string programs in elementary and middle school. From bottom to top, each of these quotes states, use a positive approach specifically designed to bolster a positive self-concept in students in order to keep students enrolled in instrumental, instrumental music study. The next one says that students said that class was boring, there was a loss of interest in orchestra, there were scheduling problems, and there was an extreme dislike of the teacher. And the next one says that there was a loss of student interest, poor relationship between student and teacher, and schedule conflict. As you can see, that schedule conflict was also a big issue, but that will be discussed later. Another thing that is extremely important is parent and peer encouragement. Parents and friends are something that students hold very highly in their minds and are influenced by what they say and what they are told to do. While participants felt that their parents were proud of their work, they did not perceive that the parents thought participation in orchestra was important. Each of these quotes is taken from the same article, same as the last slide, actually. And parents were pulled into, um, into this study with their students and how they discussed orchestra in the household. And a lot of parents just didn't talk about orchestra, so the students were, felt like their parents didn't care, so they quit because they didn't feel like what they were doing was worth it. So the next quote states that students are discontinuing orchestra participation concurrently with their friends. This is another thing that is extremely prevalent in schools even today um, because when a, when one of your friends quits, the rest of the friend group will quit. Or if your STEM partner quits, you don't want to sit next to somebody else, so you quit too. So then the last quote says, if music teachers can build parental support in the school community for the orchestra program and inform parents about their child's music study, perhaps more students will have a conversation with their children about continuing orchestra. Stronger parental support for the orchestra program could lower attrition rates. This is something that is really important for up and coming music teachers because they really need to set a good rapport with the parents so that the parents realize how important it, a string program is for their children and for their mental health especially. Something that was really important to me growing up is that an orchestra class is like a musical therapy session. From this article, it says, we must become advocates for our students and work with the guidance counselors and classroom teachers to create a schedule that is appropriate for each student. We must think outside of the box so that our students are given the best opportunities to succeed. Orchestra was one of those classes that was super laid back, but you knew you still had to do your work. But it's more of that family environment instead of a teacher standing in front of the classroom and yelling at you. You all worked together, you communicated and collaborated on every single song that you were playing. And it was something that was super helpful growing up. Another thing backing off of the last slide is that orchestra is a fun and family centered class. Orchestra is a real home away from home. It it is one of those things that you look forward to going to. You get to see your friends, even if they weren't the friends you went into orchestra having, you create new bonds with people. Um, on here I wrote, um, string programs harvest a type of bond that you don't get from other electives in a school setting. The bond is different and unforgettable. The friends that I have from orchestra being graduated for years now um, I still have and I still talk to. It's the friends that I had in my core classes that I've lost contact with, but the, the ones I had from orchestra are the ones that I kept. So what are my recommendations for future researchers? Firstly, some of the limitations that I've seen from these studies that I've looked at in this project are that some schools just don't have the funding so districts don't prioritize music as a core class that benefits students where music teachers and guidance counselors work hand in hand to help the mental health of students 
Some students just want to take other electives when they enter middle school, which is normally grades six through eight, so they drop out of music entirely. That even includes choir and band, jazz band, even color guard. Um, I mean, it's it's something that happens a lot um, from elementary to middle school and even middle school to high school. They just want to do different things, so they don't prioritize music as something that's super important in their lives. Some students don't see how music will help them when they become an adult. This is another thing that I've even talked to the students that I teach about um, that they're like, oh, well, I don't want to go into music when I get older. That's, I always say to them that that's not the point. That the point is that if you're feeling down and this is something that makes you happy, regardless if you want to do this as a profession or not, um, or even like on the side, it's something that you can always come back to. It's like riding a bike. You're, you're not going to forget how to do it. Um, even if you go 10 years without doing it, you're still going to remember how to do it. So it's something that you can be bonded to music through your instrument. You can be bonded to the connections that you make with your friends through orchestra. So the last one is that some students do not think that they're good enough. So this is a low self-esteem thing. So this also goes with the mental health issue that um, if orchestra teachers and counselors don't increase their the students' self-esteem that they won't want to be in orchestra because they don't think they're good enough. They're not going to help the orchestra out by being part of it. They're just going to make it worse. But that's not the point. The point is to harbor that appreciation for music, regardless if you think you're good enough or not. And what questions still need to be ad addressed? I think that there's only three questions. Is that how can string teachers show that it's okay to fail, but also to try again? Failure is completely okay. Nothing in life is perfect. How can string teachers create a family environment without overstepping? This is a big question that I have, um, even just for myself, is that how do you not overstep on parents' feet uh, with having that family feel in orchestra? And then the last one is how can string teachers collect repertoire that all students will be accessible to? This is another thing that, um, that orchestra teachers need to do to encourage their students um, to want to participate because if they're just playing classical music all the time, that's not accessible to younger age students or even, I mean, even high schoolers, it's, it's super outdated and not something that they listen to. So like something that I've been looking at is um, seeking out compositions of like pop songs that are popular like right now instead of like 90s pop or early 2000s pop, like the kids now don't know that. So you have to like try and find repertoire that is for the current now. And realistically, I only think that there's two steps that research researchers need to take next. The first one is that research researchers can uncover the reason why there is not always funding for string programs in school, but there's almost always guaranteed funding for bands and choirs. And then the next one is that researchers can inspect schools and see if their environments and location are the determining factor for why there's a lack of interest. So regard so thinking about if it's a city school or a rural school or the um, the types of students that are in there, if they're underprivileged or overly privileged, um, those kinds of things are super important in collecting data. And just to wrap things up, the big idea of this whole project is that the most important thing is that string programs are more important than many people realize. The connections students and teachers create in orchestra, as well as friendships, are special and help students through a lot of hard times in their lives. Having another family outside of home is something that every student in the string program should be privy to. Any student in the string program can vouch for that, so be a part of it. Thank you for listening to my video, and I really hope you enjoyed my presentation. And here are all the resources that I have used to collect all this information.